looking rather stony-faced in the Oval Office today, but their words were slightly warmer. We are close uh, partners, allies, not enemies. We have to work together. The president of the European Union in Washington to persuade the United States to abandon their policy of higher tariffs to protect American goods. You could call it retaliation, but I'd rather just say that we want reciprocal. Uh, over the years, the United States has been losing hundreds of billions of dollars with the European Union. During his recent visit to Europe, President Trump called the EU a foe, deliberately targeting Angela Merkel, angry that Germany has such a large trade surplus with the United States. BMWs are made in this plant in South Carolina, but President Trump thinks too many German cars are sold in the USA and has threatened to impose punitive new tariffs. But the two sides emerged to say they'd forged a new understanding, which they hope will get rid of tariffs imposed on steel and prevent new ones being brought in against cars. We agreed today, first of all, to work together towards zero tariffs, zero non-tariff barriers, and zero subsidies on non-auto industrial goods. Thank you. Excuse me. Britain's International Trade Secretary was also in Washington today. Liam Fox talking up the chances of a post-Brexit deal. EU officials are in the White House meeting with the President. You are not. Does that not just underline the fact that the UK remains on the sidelines, on the periphery? It underlines why we were right to leave the European Union. The UK is forbidden from negotiating until it's left the EU. Dr Fox calls these consultations. Mr Fox, can you just tell us, are you happy with the response you're getting here in uh, the United States to your visit? I am. It's been extremely positive, uh, forward-looking, um, and uh, the discussions that we've had have been uh, really very fruitful. But there is a new friendship in town. This was a very big day for free and fair trade. Thank you very much, everybody. It Thank seems you. to eclipse the special relationship with Britain and make the prospect of a special trade deal even more distant. Juliet Bremner, News at 10, Washington.